vlog yet, but we have been, as you will have seen from the clips, to my favourite service station today. We have also just been to Brislington Retail Park where they have a massive cancer research and may have bought a couple of things. We are now on our way to Book Barn to have socially distanced meet up with Victoria and I'm so excited. Didn't vlog anything in cancer research pretty much because I was just that excited. So we'll see if I get any footage with me and Victoria. just driving through Cheddar Gorge and we stopped at this photo point and I have to show you around because I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. I just... Oh. My. God. <laughs> hang on, hang on. we came in through the door and it was all sealed and they said our keys are inside and our welcome pack so here's the table and then over here we've got sofas it all looks very very new and modern we've got a mirror there lovely view of the rain outside really big fridge freezer then we've got the kitchen area oven and grill there Plenty of cutlery, microwave, toaster. And then we go through here. And we've got a toilet and shower there. Oh, it's really warm in here, the heating's on. Not much more to say about that, really. And then we have two bedrooms. We have this one, which most likely won't be used unless Tom snores too much then he can go in here lots of shelving up there and then the master bedroom again loads and loads of shelving a full length mirror there oh we've got a bathroom in here as well oh so we've got an extra toilet in there and a sink I've never been in a caravan with two toilets this is quite posh then you've got your little getting ready area there so yeah that is the caravan tour this vlog is going to be a little bit bitty maybe because i am filming a couple of videos at the same time so i don't know what i've shown in what video but we have arrived at the caravan and it is gorgeous both me and tom have said that we've stayed in um I don't know what I was say. <laughs> no names mentioned. The Norfolk Hotel, Hagley Road, Birmingham. We've stayed in worse hotels than this, yeah. So it's beautiful. I'm also doing a foodies guide to Burnham on Sea video. So yeah, we're just gonna chill. I mean, it is absolutely throwing it down outside. So you will have seen that I met up with Victoria, and that was lovely. Just the tonic that I needed today and so now we're gonna settle in for the night i've got plenty of books to be reading and i'll see you tomorrow i don't know how much you'll be able to hear right now well this might be some people's idea of hell this is my and tom's perfect holiday i love the seaside when it's cold and windy and we can just walk in the wind and the rain and then go back to the car and get snuggly you can probably see there is not a single other person on the promenade right now, just the two of us.
after our first round of Monopoly and we're just having a walk along from Haven into Burnham. It's about a 10-15 minute walk down into Burnham um, and it's a bit more pleasant this morning. It's still windy which I love but might stay a little bit drier. It was all right yesterday walking in but walking back when you've got the rain in your face. So we're going to check out the farm shop, see if we can get some bits for breakfast the next couple of days and I suppose I'll probably just have a look in the charity shops. So again, I'm not sure how much this shop is here. We have come to Wetherspoons, which is right up the front. Um, yeah, you know what you're getting with Wetherspoons, don't you? So I've ordered a vegetable burger and you probably can't hear me right now. the charity shops and got some pretty good goodies had an ice cream and now we're going back in to have a look around the tat shops and hopefully get some fish and chips good morning I am aware that I have been the world's worst vlogger this week but that just means that I've just been enjoying myself and not really thinking too much about vlogging. Um, I had a really bad pain night last night so after we'd had our fish and chips we just chilled in the caravan which was lovely. Still feeling a bit wobbly this morning but we're driven into Burnham and we're going to go for a tabletop sale and a mooch around. <laughs> that we arrived it was too rainy to show you the outside of the caravan so this is ours it's number 18 Brent view and I really love it because it's quite secluded I mean there's another caravan there but there's none either side of it this is a swift deluxe holiday home and it is the fishing boat and yeah it's been so lovely here I just can't can't get over how nice it is actually so as it's nice and sunny I have come out with Kindle and some scones with lemon curd. I'm just going to sit out in the sun for a bit. <laughs> in the sea didn't end well there's a lot of sinking sand on this beach but I enjoyed it anyway. 
but now I've just got to work out how to get back to the caravan with my muddy feet. So it's our last evening in Burnham on Sea now and we have had such a lovely few days. It's not over yet, we are going glamping tomorrow night. But I just wanted to kind of give you an update on how I felt about the caravan this week. This is the nicest caravan we have ever stayed in. Um, it's ha Haven in Burnham-on-Sea. And we are staying in a deluxe caravan. I think we paid about £135 for the four nights. And it's been totally worth it. Haven now do stay or stay and play so we save money by just going for the stay we don't have kids and we tend to not watch the entertainment we went a couple of times in Butlins for the entertainment just because it was included but it was pretty rubbish to be fair um the only things that we did forget coming here like it's been so long since I stayed in a caravan or you know a chalet or anything we were provided a bin bag and a couple of toilet rolls but we had to go out and get more toilet roll we could have done with bringing our oven gloves um and things like that like tin foil and washing up liquid and all of condiments and things we could have done with bringing from home but we'll know for next time um what else did i want to say Oh yeah, the shower here is fantastic. It's a proper, proper power shower. And yeah, we've just had a really great few days. Um, walking down into Burnham every day. It's about a 15, 20 minute walk, I'd say. And then the town itself is quite small to walk around. It's about five minute drive, if that. Um, car parking is quite cheap. I think we paid £3 for three hours today. And after six o'clock, the car parks are free. So going in to collect dinner on a night is completely free. So, yeah, I'm going to pack my camera away for now. And I will probably see you tomorrow when we're in Beaudley Glam. <laughs> I don't think I've spoken to the vlog all day today but it is five to three and we are just in a little bit of traffic we're just pulling up to the yurt so we're in a place called Beaudley which is in the Midlands and I know it from it's near to Kidderminster where the West Midlands Safari Park is where I went a lot as a kid we have been today to the cancer research shop in Bridlington not Bridlington Bridgewater, Bridgewater and i bought a few little bits again um and yeah so we're spending the night tonight in a yurt so we've got books we've got cider and yeah i'll show you around when we get there I'm sitting on the floor just outside our yurt and I have on this jumper that I bought in Burnham for three pound and it is working really well this place it is a place in Beaudley called Dovedale Glamping and we literally booked this through Airbnb as a kind of last minute add on to our holiday and it is just perfect we are literally I mean if I turn the camera around right now you will see that we are literally among sheep and goats and lambs and chickens. The owners, Emily and Mike, are such good hosts. Like, literally nothing. Is that too bright? Bring it back down. 
literally nothing is too much trouble for them we've just ordered a takeaway and yeah they asked us before they let the sheep out they said that usually once the guests are in they close the gate and if it's okay with the guests they let the sheep out and we're just loving it i'm sat over there i won't show you because thomas is there but we're just about to try and light the fire i'm going to read in the firelight i actually think that i am happier than i've ever been being here literally lying on the floor in the middle of a field drinking my lily cider get the fire going in the background there and i got the fire going i am your new bear grills charity shop jumper and this book that i picked up at gloucester services called writing on the road camper van love and the joy of solitude so i'm gonna just leave you with some shots of the sun going down over the fire now and i'll speak to you in the morning babies these lambs are so friendly the bigger sheep tend to walk away when you get near them but these have seen me come out the yurt and are just just coming over to eat the grass i'm just saying my goodbyes now and i just can't get over how much i love it here even in the rain i mean we woke up at five o'clock this morning by rain on the yurt and i just lay there listening to the rain like live living my best life i think that i need to win the lottery and come and get a farm of my own because this is just just love it got my wellies on proper farmer charlotte so we are home <laughs> i am absolutely knackered but i have had a really really good week i don't know if you heard that that is bert he wasn't happy that we took him to the cattery but that's that isn't it i'm gonna insert a clip now though i bought them these so we're in a pet shop down in burnham and the lady in there was lovely i'll leave the details to the pet shop below and we always buy the cats some treats and things so we bought them salmon sandwich treats and then we bought them toys and then one of the things we were umming and ahhing about is she had these rubber licky mats which you put like food on and they lick it off. I've just spotted that the milk is just there in the background. That will be going in the fridge in a minute. Um, and we looked at them, but I think they were a little bit pricey in the shop. And I didn't know if the boys would use them. So I left them. And then on the way back, we went to Bridgewater to the cancer research shop and found a pack of two for a pound in there. And yeah, the boys have just loved it. And all it takes is some licky licks on a rubber mat and some salmon sandwich treats and all is forgiven so i'm gonna end this week's vlog here i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please like and subscribe below on wednesday i think you'll be having a foodies guide to burnham so you won't have seen much food in this vlog it will all be in that video and i hope that you are all having a great time and enjoying yourselves look after yourselves and i will see you soon bye